Would Patrick Bateman make a great Batman villain? This is an intriguing question, mostly because it pits the caped crusader against a foe that's a bit different from his usual rogues gallery. Patrick Bateman, from American Psycho, isn't your typical Gotham villain. He doesn't have a grandiose alter ego or a penchant for theatrical crimes. He's a sharply dressed Wall Street yuppie with a taste for Phil Collins and less savory activities. First off, Bateman's duality would fit right in with the duality theme that runs through Batman's world. Bruce Wayne and Batman are two sides of the same coin, and Bateman's existence as a polished businessman by day and something much darker by night mirrors that. But let's dig a bit deeper. The thing that might make Bateman an intriguing adversary for Batman is his unpredictability and the psychological challenge he'd pose. Most of Batman's enemies are, in some form or another, exaggerated versions of particular traits. Greed, anarchy, obsession, fear. Bateman's personality doesn't project a single idea. He's chaos in an expensive suit, driven not by philosophy but by psychopathy. Unlike the Joker's flamboyant style of chaos, Bateman's would be cold and personal. He's not trying to make a statement to the city. He's in it for his own gratification. It would be a highly personal game of cat and mouse, requiring Batman to employ different tactics, less brawling with goons and more detective work, which is a nice nod to Batman's noir detective roots. That being said, the real question is whether or not Bateman could hold interest on a grand scale, not just in the intimate one-on-one -on -one confrontations. Batman stories, especially those that make it onto the big screen or into larger arcs, often have some component that threatens Gotham as a whole. Bateman doesn't seem to have an agenda that would extend that far. His mayhem is up close and personal, not the city-engulfing terror that we are used to. In conclusion, while Bateman wouldn't be throwing on a costume and naming himself the Financier, or the Merger anytime soon, he'd present an intimate and chilling challenge to the Dark Knight, offering fans a story that would likely delve deeper into what it means to save a city from the monsters in men's hearts. And if you ever find yourself in Portland, Oregon, trust me, we love our darker, moodier narratives just as much as we love our craft beers and coffee. Drop by one of the local comic shops and pose this question. You're bound to ignite an interesting debate among the Bat fans here.